What happens to my messenger messages if I deactivate my Facebook account? Hello there. Today we're going to address a frequently asked question. What happens to your messenger messages when you deactivate your Facebook account? This topic often creates confusion as the relationship between Facebook and Messenger isn't always clear. So let's dive right in and shed some light on this mystery. How are Facebook and Messenger connected? Messenger is a feature of Facebook, originally integrated into the platform. However, in recent years, Facebook made Messenger a standalone app, meaning you can use Messenger independently from Facebook. While deactivating your Facebook account won't delete your messages, there are some implications you need to be aware of. What happens to your existing messages? When you deactivate your Facebook account, your existing messenger messages remain intact. That means all the messages you have sent and received will still be there if you decide to reactivate your account. You will not lose any of your previous conversations. Can I still use Messenger? This is a bit tricky. As of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, you can still use Messenger after deactivating your Facebook account. This means you can continue to chat with your friends on Messenger, start new conversations, and even use features like video calling. However, this might not apply if Facebook's policies have changed since then. What about my Messenger profile? When you deactivate your Facebook account, your Messenger profile becomes invisible to the public. Your name and profile picture will be replaced with a default icon, and your account will not appear in searches or friend lists. However, your existing contacts can still see your messages and reach out to you. In summary, when you deactivate your Facebook account, you don't lose your Messenger messages, and you can still use Messenger. However, your messenger profile will no longer be visible to the public. Always remember, if you want to delete your messages, you have to do it manually. I hope this clears up any confusion, and now you can make informed decisions about your Facebook and messenger usage.